it's Shelly from Best Bike Canada's blog and this week I have been spending some time riding our dirt bike chasing a few alpacas out in the pasture as we test out the Thinkware M1 Motorsport Full HD 1080p dash cam with rear camera. The Thinkware M1 is a dash cam or handle cam for motorcycles. It comes with a front camera and a rear camera. It records in 1080p, has a Sony CMOS with 2.13 megapixels. You'll need a motorbike or a motorcycle with a battery to install this camera. We installed it on the motorbike as our motorcycle is currently in the shop. It has to be hardwired to the battery, so once you connect the clamps to the battery, you can mount the cameras. We installed the front-facing camera on the fender of our dirt bike. I would probably recommend, just for image stabilization, that you would install it on the handlebars. We installed the rear-facing camera right on the back behind the seat. Uh, the Thinkware M1 comes with everything you need to mount the cameras and this is just a shot of the cable connector that you plug into the cameras. The only thing that we had trouble with was lining those cable connectors up perfectly. Um, once they're connected though, the camera will work almost instantly. The M1 will also come with this power pack that connects everything within the cameras and inside of this power pack is where you put your SD memory card. Also a control button that you can press to connect to the Wi-Fi so that you can stream videos to your phone and see a live view or hit the manual record button. Here's a look at the Thinkware app. There's a variety of different settings that you can adjust to uh, get the most out of your dash cam. There's night vision that you can set so I had it disabled on mine but it still had very good night vision you can change the brightness, you can rotate the cameras. Um, it's very a very simple app, um, but it's also very easy to use. I thought the best use for the app was lining up the camera sights so that you were sure that it was pointing in the direction that you wanted it to, was an angle too high or too low. And if you do have any trouble installing the cameras or you see a red screen, uh, check your cable connections because we did um, make an error with that. We didn't have them quite tight enough. Or you can update the firmware and before you know it, you're good to go. You can connect to the internal Wi-Fi of the Thinkware M1 and you can can download st clips streaming to your phone so that you can share them with friends and family just from your phone. This is just a look at the live view as we're uh, sorting the camera out and getting ready to take it for a test run. Once you have your cameras connected, you're ready to go. So you can just hop on your bike and take off. It will instantly start recording. It's automatic. You don't have to press anything. You can press manual record if you want to make sure that the dash cam captures what you want, but it does record in one minute bursts. Audio is very loud when you're riding. Here's just a sample of what it sounds like. You can adjust your settings so that you don't record the um, obvious loud audio of the wind rushing past your camera. But what I will say about the audio on this camera is that it's amazing when there's no interference like the uh, noise of the motorcycle or the noise of the wind rushing past. It's very clear. It picks up your voice very accurately. While we spent more time watching the video footage from the front camera, the rear camera is also a great way to see what's going on behind you. You can see it's extremely clear. Um, this camera also, this dash cam, has advanced electronic image stabilization. So you can set it to turn the image stabilization on. It will result in much smoother video footage. We took it out at dusk and as you can see it does have night vision on this camera although I did not have the super night vision enabled but it was pretty clear even in low light. Um, on the bottom of the screen you can see a watermark and that watermark will indicate the time, the date and how fast you're currently going when you're driving.
you can really see the image stabilization at work when you watch the camera in action out in our pasture. This pasture is very, very bumpy. So the fact that the video is fluid and smooth, um, as smooth as this is, is pretty impressive. One of the biggest benefits of having a dash cam on your motorcycle would be to capture the footage of your daily drive or things that go on around you. Just in case of crashes or any traffic incidents, it's good to have a visual record and an audio record of your daily drive. We really enjoyed using the Thinkware M1 for capturing footage of our dirt biking adventures. And uh, as you can see, it does capture amazing footage of that. And when you're ready to take your video footage off of the Thinkware M1, all you have to do is use the included SD card and the SD card reader or a USB uh, connector and it will attach to your computer and you can pull your files. It's a very easy to use dash cam. It gives you amazing video footage and we had a lot of fun testing it out. You can see my full review of the Thinkware M1 Motorsport dash cam on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.